Oh, look who it is. A good friend. Everyone knows this guy. Hopefully, Stash Cam. People know me Christian. Now. Yeah, they know you. If they follow me, they know you. <laughs> I looked up to Christian when I was a kid, so hanging out with him is the about as cool of an experience as I could ever have. But we got his M5 here. He's about to show us something cool about it. So let's see. Pop, pop this hood, if you will, sir. All right, so this is my uh, patinaed out M5. I don't know if you guys know this thing. It's a little... It looks good on camera. <laughs> no, everything looks fine in person too. Everything looks great on camera. Wait, but, wait, but wait, but oh, right. something special. Whoa! I don't know if people good hood shocks. But Dude, <laughs> good hood shocks. Mine <laughs> fell on me today doing my oil change. You do not see this, huh? No. Every time I pop it, people just go, wow, because these are like shiny, you know? <laughs> but they don't really know what's going on. So what is this? Run me through it for right, the M5 basically, guys. Basically, if you guys don't really know, uh, M5s come with individual throttle bodies, but what I did was took off the big old plenum. The plenum, yeah. And then I put these trumpets on. But to do that is deleting the math. And deleting the math was like, oh, what are you going to do? So I had to go a standalone, which is in there. And by doing a standalone, we deleted the distributor cap. So now it's running on Wasted Spark. Which is what all this is. Yes, sir. What brand are those coil packs? They're Audi coil packs. Audi coil pack, huh? Yeah, so now it's a little bit more responsive. It feels mm -hmm. good, blimping the throttle and whatnot. It sounds, it sounds crazy, I bet, right? Yeah, it's ITVs like this sound crazy. You already know, um, what, what is it, Oxford? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dakota has the, Dakota. But yeah, he's got the SD4 E34, which is the same thing. He runs individual stacks. This this is basically like an ancient SD4 kind of, yeah, right? Yeah, like really literally. Cool. But, but yeah. that, that route is cool because when you beat on that car, it's, it's, you know, chances are you can find parts. You can find the parts. Yeah. yeah, this, dude, this is a rare setup. And that's why you had a lot of issues like getting this thing going, right? Not issues, but like, yeah, it, so it was just a lot of work, a lot of research and stuff. Basically, um, all right, so this is a, I bought this kit from a guy in, uh, I think Estonia. Yeah. So yeah, yeah is, I do remember that. I remember you telling me that. This is an M50. Um, TPS. TPM. TPS. Yeah, TPS. So I had to cut and wire it to the. Uh, oh. It was already like pinned. Basically, it was a plug and play. But he had a turbo car, so I had to like do the yeah. calculations over. The hardest part is um, calculating like airflow, because it's it's running off of like speed density and alpha in tune. It's like a combination of two different things which no one does on these cars they do them on e46s often but it's, not these can you see this camera man? <laughs> what <laughs> i gotta tell yeah the people. sun was in your face it was, yeah, it was, it was really bad <laughs> i gotta tell the people because um i'm kind of like easily influenced and i got a buddy named dave i don't know if you guys know this guy but his name is beers by dave and to be honest, if it wasn't for his bad influence, this shit probably would not have been like this. I'm just sure he'd just be adding stuff on, and I never thought my M5 would be like this. I mean, it sounds great. It he does. tuned it, right? Yeah, he tuned yeah. it. Um, we still have a little problem with like, all right, you guys ready? Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah. what the hell? So this is the harness that plugs into the VEMS, and- um, So that's the VEMS. Yeah, this is the VEMS all the way in <laughs> the there. The VEMS. And, That's uh, where mine's mounted too. This it's ground, perfect. I think, is getting a little bit of noise, so mm -hmm. Background. it's kicking on the IAC, and then it kind of makes the air ratio. Yeah, yeah, a little bit different. So this is this is the the stock uh, S thirty eight harness, right? Yes, sir. Like the harness side, and then this is where you have it kind of pinned into your. Yeah, this was already done by the dude. They don't make a plug and play, right? They do not. Often yeah, so there. my turbo car is literally so it's the standalone, and then you have a plug and play which goes into this. This is not that. That's why it looks like this. So yeah, this was some dude literally like I, I think he's an engineer by trade, but like he literally was doing this for his turbo car, and the only reason why he sold it is because this is kind of a bulky setup. As you can mm -hmm. see, it's not really bolted in there. Yeah, so mine looks the same. He went with a smaller ECU, and that's why he sold it. Mm -hmm. And again, I was like, when am I ever gonna find this? Yeah. So I bought it, and it was uh, like fourteen hundred bucks. That's a rare thing to find, dude. Came with the packs. Um, I still gotta do a vacuum box, and I have to install these babies. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Shifter linkage? Hey, the car was the car was sitting for a whole decade. Oh my gosh! I did the most for this guy. I was like, day in, day out, on my back. I'll probably upload a video of it. Yeah, go watch, go watch his video, and he'll tell us all about the endeavor. Oh my god! Dude's got a tranny back here. <laughs> like I literally was in. The, I really try to oh make this god. happen. Wait, I really try to make this happen. I really, I was gonna bring it, but the only reason why I didn't bring it is because the guy when he towed my car, he bent my controller. Oh yeah, uh, the tie rod, right? Okay, so this car runs and drives right now, but yeah. it's just, so you broke your drive shaft, right? That's what? Yeah, my drive shaft blew up because I, I neglect cars. I'm very abusive type of guy. I have an abusive relationship, so. 
Yes, this dude literally just shredded a drive shaft. I shredded the drive shaft, yes. What the hell is up? Is this a G265? So this is the drive shaft that blew up, and uh, it broke an ear. Right? Oh. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oh, this is the broken drive shaft? Yeah, people, people are going to hate me because I'm doing this to an M5. <laughs> this is dude. the broken drive shaft. How the hell do you even do that to a car that doesn't make power like that? First of all, my car does make power. No, okay, I well, I, I, I make 500 and I've never done that to a drive shaft. Oh, okay. So that's Mr. weird. Mr. 500 or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you, 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 guys know, you, you guys know what this is? This is when you never replace your Guibo. That's, that's what that is. He's lying a little bit, but he's also telling the truth. <laughs> as well. I, I think because when I bought Both this of them. car, I bought this car. Originally, M5s come with a 280. So this is a 265, uh, right? This is a 260? 265? Well, oh no, 260 because 265 is a removable bell housing. Yeah. My bad, I was looking at this. This is a G260, From which is identical to a G280. Yes. But it's way cheaper and it doesn't blow out the synchros like the G280s do. Correct, this man knows his information. See, look at that. I know a little bit. I, but the ratio is slightly different. So slightly different. Yeah, so the ratio is a this, bit The different. M5 drive shaft bolts up or do you have to use a 535? This is the whole thing. So I bought this car, and I thought I had a 280. The guy told me I got to rebuild. Um, I dropped the trans because I did research. Like I'm not gonna spin a kidney for a 280. Yeah. So I dropped the trans, and I had a Frankenstein setup, which was a 260 uh, 535 drive shaft, and yeah, and I was gonna do this Frankenstein swap. But when I pulled it out, I put the trans together, and I was like, Yo, they told you it was rebuilt, but in reality, it was <laughs> a 260 in there. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I threw the 260 in, and the drive shaft was from them, which was Frankenstein 2, which yeah. I think is a 535 front half. An M5, M5 rear, rear, which would make sense. And I did that with this car, and the drive shaft's a little too long. Really? Like an inch too long. So that's why I forced it in there, and now instead of it being like this, it's like that. Oh, so it's messed up. So, so you gotta fix it. You gotta like fix that. Yeah, I got about you don't want to drive. One piece drive shaft. Oh, okay. You just you just tie it to the drive shaft arms. Yeah. These we are good? bigger injectors. They're uh, uh, forty pounds for much. this. Yeah. So we're gonna do E85. Oh. A little bit aggressive timing. Dude, this yeah. dude's going crazy with an S38. Expensive ass motor to blow up. <laughs> Hey, hey, if I blow up, <laughs> Christian's hey, got balls. No more E34s. <laughs> no, that that's it. That's it for you. Well, you got the you got the daily 540 over there, right? Yeah. The, the auto car. Yeah, that thing's nice. I can't believe you got it. I can't believe you're just keeping it. Is this the trans that was in this car before you had your issues? This is the and you, second trans. And you just got a new one. The first one. Oh, I didn't show you. So the output shaft is like kind of Wait. damaged. What? Oh yeah. It bent. Oh my god. Wow, it bent the flange. Yeah. And then wow. it broke an ear. And then it also blew up, and it kind of damaged my trans tunnel, which is that's the, like the saddest yeah. thing I'm about. Well, you can replace this though. You can. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, because sure. you, you take it off to replace the seal. Yeah. I don't know. Finding that's probably hard though. I don't think you could buy. Well, oh, maybe you can. It's broken regardless. Well, that could be fixed. Still welded. Works. Still a pain in the ass. I was just playing dumb for you guys and the viewers, so you don't. You know. uh, he's already got plans figured out. He's just trying to give us a nice story here. I mean, I'm, I, don't judge me, but like, I literally tried to make this happen. As you can see, I don't have a spot to work on it, so I put it at my uncle's house. Mm -hmm. I tried to make it running and driving, and it was running and driving. I yep. was gonna bring it, but my steering wheel is like this, and the car pulls like this yeah. because my controller. Yeah, he he tried really hard to make it to my meet. He still came, obviously. Obviously, there's clips of us there, but he didn't bring any of his cars, which really hurt me. But at least Ish came, so that was like that made up. Like all, his car was there. Expensive, you know how they are. Yeah. We've been in the game for a while. Yeah, longer than I have been. So this is an M5. <laughs> yeah, I don't, see, I wouldn't, I couldn't relate. So I, you know, I wouldn't know anything about M5 problems and how hard it is to get things figured out. All right, the car so. looks like crap, but the thing is, the way I nice encountered car. this car was like I met a dude that really loved E34s, just like Josh, and I told him. I say, if you ever want to sell this car, let me know. So two years later, shout out to Pata, he hits me up. He's like, I'm time to sell the M5. So I bought this car, never knowing that I was going to buy an M5. I started from a 535. Okay, and how much was it? I if you, oh, you can't say? Okay. It was a good yeah, deal. It was a great deal. <laughs> yeah, it was a great deal. Let's just say that. But third gear kept popping out. And, yeah, uh, classic. And it didn't stay on. So, of course, I was trying to, gonna, I was trying to get it for like $3,000. Yeah. But the guy laughed at my face. He was like, the clutch job was $3,000. <laughs> well, yeah, this is an M5. You're talking a lot of money here. Oh, you gonna start it? Yeah. So. Oh, you can't drive it, but you can start it. Dude, yeah, can it runs. Good. Sure. Okay, well, you can't like beat it, unless you really want to do it for camera. Reeves blew up his car for my camera. Let's see what Christian will do. Hey, hey, so how dedicated are you? Thousand dollars for this motor. Huh? <laughs> oh. The tune is a little back from my O2 sensor. I broke it. Okay. Don't judge me, people. 
No one's judging. That, that's the face I made hearing this. Yo, this sounds sick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, get a, I'm gonna get a video too. Dude, this thing sounds crazy. crazy. I don't know if I've ever, I've, I've seen John's M5 in person once with a stock airbox. Yeah. I've never had much M5 experience. But I can just say, I know damn well they don't sound anything like that stock. Dude, this thing at like 7,000 probably sounds insane. Dude, it sounds crazy. Oh my god. Good. Very nice. Dude, this thing sounds so wild. I can't even imagine at like full throttle. <laughs> dude. It's, dude, these, this sounds like an ancient, like, muscle car, like. And you can't even tell through the audio because it just doesn't. No, uh, I bet the audio doesn't do this any justice at all. And there it goes. <laughs> I ran out of gas. No way. You think so? No, no, no. no. <laughs> dude, okay, I feel bad for you doing that because I'm worried that you're going to, like, blow this thing up. No. He's like, hey, Josh, you know, since you used me in video, can I get some reparations <laughs> for a new engine? And I don't have a dime to my name after this trip, so. But man, I wasn't expecting that much of the stash cam special. This thing sounds sick. I love that. This dude's gonna make me wanna go buy an M5. Well, I've always wanted an M5, but I, I'm not there, obviously. So. The Long Beach welcome. This dude didn't even drive his E34. What the hell is this? I got pulled over that night. Did you really? Yeah, my dad. Oh, really, bro. They're expired? I didn't get it, so cop was being an a-hole, so. Well, this I is the M3. this is your newish M3, right? Six yeah. speed, what's this interior color called? It's like fox, no yellow red or something like that. Dude, white on red, beautiful. Yep, of course, all the red interior it was originally two tone, all black and red. Go watch the channel. Yeah, documented yeah, everything. Watch, yeah. yeah, he documented it. <laughs> My channel. So now it's Just time me. for. I didn't film at all last time I was here, which is just stupid. Because I was scared about YouTubing at the time. And now I've, I've, I've made myself. You know, I fixed myself. So now I'm just gonna film everything with these guys. Wait, we're all so, used to having cameras out. I know. So now we're gonna go hang around and do some Long Beach things because I've been waiting a year for this. Because I, I love it here. So I'm getting already a good welcome here. Got M5, M3. Good time. Oh, so Christian's actually is gonna give us a ride. Even though I don't think he can beat on it too much. He's gonna give me a ride to show me the problem. Dude probably just wants me to identify the issue for him, really. This is literally. Check stand. Literally, like, how my life. My life's not going like this anymore. <laughs> it's going way better, but... Dude, this car smells like a more fancy E34. Like, it smells like my 525 base. This smells like M5. This thing is crazy. I so like... we're just gonna do a quick little pull. Um, yep. Nothing really special. Um, the car is not running the best. <laughs> it's not running the best. But it will run the best soon. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't mess, mess it up. Is that your power steering? Does this car have like those that like crazy yeah. power you steering? It? Yeah, yeah, right off the bat, huh? Yeah, because the drive shaft is not centered. It's literally have a little yeah. Oh, flex. oh, got some 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 stuff hit me. Sounds good though, but yeah, I can kind of see what you're saying. Your power steering pump dying? It has a little leak. Uh, I'm the type of person if the car drives, I'm driving it. <laughs> that see, I I commend you for that if that I don't know what commend means I think it's a good thing whatever I admire you for that because I wish I was more like that which is kind of what I'm doing with my car right now because the control arms are blown out when I'm still driving it but dude this thing just sounds oh yeah this thing sounds sick and the, dude that's like what 2500 rpm yeah that was just 2500 the oil temp is not up see I do drive my cars when I'm not supposed to but I make sure I drive yeah it's not too stupid yeah well dude I'm just Appreciative that you're even taking me for a spin in this because I wasn't expecting that from this video I wasn't even gonna film today, and he's like you should film. And I'm like I should film you should film you should always film Well, I feel bad. I feel bad like just having people just like throw my camera feel people's faces No, I'll always do that because <laughs> Like so Dude, the lighting makes it so ominous. I can't see anything. I, I don't know how to do light settings on this camera, so yeah. Bear with us right now well, shit. One, one thing about this car though it, it uh, breaks next because of the audio. I mean, the, yeah, the, the, the audio. The intake mode. Well, what you guys would call audio, but we're living in real life. Yeah, this thing sounds crazy. It, it literally just sounds like it would be like a really weird, like aggressive, like badass car. And then the people look at it as a Ford or sedan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel like drive shaft. So it's not really running. I think that guy broke his neck. Dude, this thing sounds sick. 
What the hell? Yo, I've, I've never heard a cooler sounding car in my life. It's like a hot rod, Jeremy. No, it, it literally is like a refined hot rod, bro. Because they literally say like, oh yeah, that you know, the S54's got the best induction noise. Bro, I, I think this beats S54. I've heard no offense. I've heard Dakota's car in person. I've heard this in person. This has a way gnarly. Dude, it literally screams, bro. This, this is why I drive my cars like this, because if they take care of me, one day I will take care of them. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude, I do. Literally, Christian literally just won the best sounding. Oh, and there's my car being moved. Oh, <laughs> Don't rear end me, bro. I heard something go clunk. Oh no. What are you doing in my car, bro? <laughs> I still He's more scared of Dude, about this thing <laughs> sounds insane. <laughs> this this is really the best sounding induction noise I've ever heard of any car. <laughs> E92 sound good, E46 sound good, but this sounds crazy. Who do you have to move for someone? Can you pass it in the camera? See if you get outside of that? Yeah, get some outside audio. Don't drop this please. <laughs> Yep, there she goes. This thing sounds, I can't even exaggerate it enough, bro. Like, I'm not exaggerating. This is the craziest sounding intake I've ever heard in my life. I need to do this one day. I need to tune this baby because, um. Do one S52. Ah, dude, S52 ITBs, I don't even know if it's. It's worth it. It wouldn't even sound like this, bro. Yeah, that's, that's the best part, is that you don't hear a loud ass exhaust. I like, I like induction over exhaust, and this car does that very well. But you still get a little exhaust, no? And the M3, and the M3. But it's, it's and the M3, literally. It's completely stock, but do you get? Do I get the Josh approval? Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, bro. That this thing sounds crazy. I'm glad this guy's here. He drove that car from Chicago. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was a trip. Hey, let's get it done now. Um, dark. This chassis mount is horrible. That honest. thing sucks. Bro, literally watching this dude. I'll put the iPhone clip in. This dude has to fight it to get into gear. Stock shifter. <laughs> Every day and tomorrow for an E34. Listen to us. Or please. Dynan. I agree. Dynan's like, good it was too. It's really hard to find. Like, it was really hard to just find a shifter. And yeah. I really was trying to make it to the meet. And my home. What do you mean? Really I found new. a shifter right here. I have a shifter. <laughs> but this Frankenstein setup needs like a. I will just cut to when we find reverse. Oh, <laughs> uh, watch these wheels. 